And that is going to do it for this one. The Maulers come out on top 63 to 51. With this one in the books, let's take a look back at some of the action. So, the ball game is over. Let's take a quick look back at how it went with our post-game show. Let's get started in this one early in the third quarter. Number 19 came up with a big play as he was able to pull this one in. A 71-yard touchdown for the visitors. The Maulers have opened it up and now lead by 29. After a stop on fourth down, number 23 is reading the quarterback's eyes all the way, and he's able to get his hands on this one and picks it off. Midway through the third, the Maulers ahead by 29. Number five is back to throw, and look at the finesse he puts on this one. They've opened it up and now lead by 36. The Vipers answer right back. Number 11 came up with a huge play here as they cover a lot of real estate on this one. That set up an easy 24-yard field goal. The Vipers back 49 to 16. Bacon was in the right place at the right time as his interception was a possible momentum shifter. The Vipers, end of the third quarter, all at the 31-yard line. Number nine would drop back and deliver a strike on this one. A 30-yard touchdown for the home team. Later on in the fourth quarter, the Maulers ahead by 26. Number five went up top on the third down play and he was able to find his man. They move ahead by 33. The Vipers, middle of the fourth, number nine, went to the air trying to convert on third down and he found his man. A 21-yard touchdown for the home team. The Vipers trailing 56 to 30. Number 11 is gonna come up with a big play here on the deep ball. Have a look, a 40-yard touchdown for the visitors. The Maulers move ahead by 33. Midway through the fourth, number nine went up top on fourth down as they decide to go for it, and it turns out to be the right call. A 31-yard play that set up a home team touchdown. Late into the fourth quarter, the Vipers losing by 26. Number nine is back to throw, and this is nothing more than a little pitch and catch with his wide receiver. For the gap a bit, they are now down by 19. The Vipers back at it after their D made a stop in the red zone. Number 89 was definitely a key player as he was able to work his way open for a big one here. A 66-yard play that set up a home team touchdown. And that's where we'll have to leave this one. The Maulers come away with a win, 63-51. to Okay, here's your 2K Sports player of the game. Number five, elevated his game like he always does. Well, the name of the game for the quarterback is putting points on the board for his team. And he certainly was able to do that in this one. He found the end zone repeatedly, making it look easy out there, but we know it's not. For my partner, Peter O'Keefe, this is Dan.